Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron. We're comparing today the Textus Receptus with underlying Greek text, most modern versions. And we're seeing a pattern. We're in the Gospels. We did yesterday, Matthew, through about half of uh, Mark, that the Textus Receptus is just stronger. And this is acknowledged really by all parties. This is why Westcott and Hort said the Textus Receptus had conflations of majesty, which scribal practice would not allow because of the way the letters all ran together. Because he was like, yeah, they, it really is better on the deity of Jesus and Christian living and fasting and holiness and self-sacrifice and taking up our cross. Which brings us to our first one today. Thanks for being here. Is Mark 10, 21. The Texas Receptus is going to say, take up the cross follow Jesus. That's not going to be in modern translations. It leads to a different Christianity. I'll tell you when I have taught on this in times past, various places, and you put, you show that on the screen, take up the cross is missing. It's very obvious because this generation in some instances in the West is not taking up the cross. Okay, Mark 10, 24. In modern Bible versions, again, doctrinally, it's amazing. It talks about how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. Texas Receptus gives clarity of theology. Them that trust in riches. Them that trust in riches. Mark 11.10, um, in modern uh, Greek text, are going to take out in the name of the Lord. Whereas that's going to be in the Textus Receptus. So Mark 10, 24, it's hard if you trust in riches. Um, Mark eleven twenty six 26 is going to have including uh, teaching on forgiveness. Missing. We wonder why maybe some modern church people don't have, have forgiveness or struggle with it. It's because of that. Mark 13, 14, the Textus Receptus is rightly going to attribute the prophecy to Daniel the prophet. Mark 13.33, the Textus Receptus properly says we must pray to be ready for Christ's second coming. That's not in modern Bible versions based on modern Greek text. Um, Mark 15.28, the Textus Receptus refers to the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecy that Christ would be numbered with the transgressors. And of course, Mark 16, 9 through 20 is severely weakened in Greek text and in a lot of English text. It'll be in parentheses, double brackets, taken out in the footnotes, and really cast doubt, maybe even uh, smaller italicized words when it's obvious it's supposed to be there. Luke uh, 2.22, Textus Receptus, teaches that the purification for sin was for Mary only. Because Jesus was sinless. That's another big one. When I show it, people, it may take them a minute, but they're like, wait. Because it says they, you know, go to Jerusalem, you know, for their purification in modern Greek texts. It's like, no, it's for her purification. Um, Luke 2.33, Joseph um, is called Jesus' father in modern Greek texts. It's referred to as Joseph, Joseph and his mother, correctly, theologically, you notice the precision of theology, because it's from the mind of God in the Textus Receptus. Um, Luke 2.40, Textus Receptus is going to put in spirit there. Luke 2.43, the Textus Receptus, once again, is going to correctly ascribe to Joseph being Joseph, not uh, as his father. Luke 4, 4, so fascinating. Again, this is very impactful when you show it to people because in the Texas Receptus, you know, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God, by every word of God is, wow, somehow missing in these Gnostic texts that have been brought down to us. Luke 4, 8, my friend Steve Spart has a great thing. He used to teach at the um, Pentecostals of Alexandria teach the, the various Sunday school teachers why they use the King James, which was a, you know, UPC standard for decades, obviously, many decades till just extremely recently. Wonder what else he'll tell us they were wrong about, you know. Um, but he goes into great detail about how it's Gnostic text. Luke 4, 8, in the Textus Receptus, Jesus tells Satan, get thee behind me, Satan. Not there. 
in modern Greek text. Luke 4.41, the text is receptus. The devils acknowledge that Jesus is Christ. 9.54 of Luke, the text is receptus includes a reference to Elijah as a historical figure. By the way, we're getting off this Texas receptus bibles.com. I don't know if I failed to mention that. I may have. I apologize. It was unintentional. But we want to attribute everything to where it's supposed to go. The Texas Receptus includes in Luke 9.55, you know not what manner of spirit you're of. Luke 9.56, the Texas Receptus includes for the Son of Man is not coming to destroy men's lives, but to save them. When you've got all these imperial persecutions, especially Constantine claims to be Christian, and then thereafter, that's the reason they took out so many of these about Matthew 5.44 and all this seemingly. Um, Luke 11.2, the Texas Receptus is going to include a fuller version of the Lord's Prayer. Luke 12.31, the Texas Receptus is going to say the kingdom of God. Luke 12.39, about the end time, the Texas Receptus says that the good men of the house had known what hour the thief would come. He would have watched. Luke 17, 36, Texas Receptus is going to have two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, the other left. The other's not going to have that, maybe because of views on the end time, millennialism, uh, any number of things. Luke 18, 28, Peter says he left all to follow Jesus, not just our own, but all theological precision it even demeans the suffering of jesus luke twenty two sixty four, the textus receptus correctly includes they struck him on the face now mormons got a great book doing what manuscripts these are included in in all of this and i hopefully may have some videos coming out on that there's so many hundreds and thousands of subjects to do. I'm not positive we can get to them all, but I'm trying. Luke 23, 17, the Textus Receptive includes from necessity must release one unto them at the feast. Luke 23, 38, again, the sufferings of Jesus, the Textus Receptive says in the superscription over the Lord that it was written in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. Luke 23, 42, the thief acknowledges, this is extraordinarily important, Jesus as the Lord. He's Jehovah. Because evidently you've got the sky turning dark and everything. So you can see, I mean, it's just everybody acknowledges Texas Receptus as a fuller text. It is a more biblically God-honoring text, uh, you know, Christ-honoring text, which Jesus is God, obviously. Uh, but he's also man. Um, Christian living, cross, holiness, uh, theological precision. So stick with the Word of God. Stick with King James. Don't settle. Can you be saved with other translations? Of course, because it's the gospel. But you're hearing, but this, why would you want to do away with something perfect, the standard, just because you can? You know, I could build a house without the standard of weight and measures in Maryland or wherever it's at. But why would I want to do away with that standard? Because eventually things are going to get all messed up. So, God bless. Thanks for being here. We'll see you later. Bye.